All right, what is going on guys? It's Mudge here. Today I've got a brand new Black Ops 4 video for you guys. We're going to be covering the ABR tactical rifle in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I've also got a pretty banging gameplay for you guys as well as a few class setups that you guys can go ahead and try out for yourself. And before we jump into this video, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys are using on your ABR. If you have to have a if you don't have a class setup and you but you have had a chance to actually use a gun, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the gun. Do you guys think it's good? Do you guys think it's bad? Let me know in, in the comment section down below what you guys think of it. Not only that, but if you do enjoy this video at any point, hit that like button for me. If you guys are new, hit the sub button, turn on those notifications. I do appreciate all the support. Not only that, but if you guys are interested in any of the following stuff like gameplays, class setups, tips and tricks, as well as update videos, I do cover that on my channel every single day. So make sure to hit that sub button. If you guys are interested in daily live streams as well, I'm also live over on Twitch every single day. My Twitch will be in the description down below, so make sure to go follow me on there. Other than that, let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, so for the first class setup, I do actually have two different setups on the screen right about now. There's actually a few setups that I want to get through, so I'm going to talk about this very quickly. So the first setup that I'm going to be talking about is the one on top. I've got Reflex Stock, Quick Draw, and the Repeater Operator Mod with the exact same perk setup as the class in the bottom. So I've got Stimshot Scavenger, Dead Silence, and the Operator Mod. The class below, I do have Reflex Stock Grip and um, the Operator Mod. That's the um, class setup that I'm actually using in the gameplay in the background and the difference between the two obviously one's got grip one's got quick draw if you guys are playing a lot smaller of a map um, more rushy something like firing range or even summit I recommend you guys using that quick draw um, basically using quick draw because obviously it gives you that quicker ADS time whereas if you're playing a much bigger map with um, long um, aim down sights bots sort of like contraband or even bigger maps like payload I would obviously recommend you guys running the grip obviously this gun with grip absolutely beams you guys are basically basically going to see that in the gameplay for the second setup that is on the screen, I have gone for a more sacked approach. Um, reflex, stock, quick draw, grip, and extended mags. This time it doesn't actually have an operator mod. I've only got scavenger as the standalone perk on this, just so I'm never running out of ammo. Um, as I said, if you guys want a more stat gun, less perks, I would recommend going for this sort of setup. I have tried all of these setups before. I know exactly what works and what doesn't work on this gun. I would highly recommend you guys using this class up. If you guys aren't really feeling dead silence or dexterity, I would definitely recommend you guys using this class up more of a stacked one so obviously the gun is a lot more stronger you're basically relying on your gun the only reason why i got scavenger on as i said is because you don't really want to be relying on picking up anybody else's weapon you guys want to be able to pick up those scav packs and keep going on the streak for the last class setup on the screen i've gone for a much more basic approach so like a standard abr class setups i got reflex stock quick draw and grip with stim shot scavenger dexterity and dead silence so you get all three of those perks not only that you also get a very strong gun however it does lack the operator mod which doesn't allow you to hold down the trigger instead it does turn it into a tap fire gun sort of like how the gun normally is However, the op mod did get nerfed recently, so I wouldn't, you know, sh shrug it off and say that the gun's completely crap without it. And um, before, whenever you use the operator mod, you could basically hold it down to a point where it would turn into a fully auto mag, and that would happen very quick. This time, it doesn't seem to really get to that point unless you're using extended mags or you have a lot of ammo in your clip. So, I mean, the op mod is sort of like half and half. If you're pretty good with controlling the recoil and hitting your shots at the same time as being able to manage your burst correctly. Um, you could basically get away without running the op mod whereas if you do struggle a bit more you just want to rely on just holding down r2 sort of like how i am doing in this gameplay you guys can also do that other than that that is enough talking for me today i hope you guys do enjoy this gameplay as i said before if you guys do enjoy this video find the class search useful in any way hit that like button for me if you guys are new hit the sub button turn on those notifications and i will see you guys in the next black ops 4 video peace out guys that, that care package hasn't been taken and jacked and booby traps Jeez. Inside the mind of some players, holy shit. Hello. What are you doing back here, you lurking gecko? Oh, okay. Right, that almost fucked me over. He went almost. And now I'm out of it. Am I an Arsenal fan? No, I don't support a football team. It causes too much drama. But definitely not an Arsenal fan now. I've said if I had to pick a team, if I had to, had to, it either be Man U or Chelsea. Friendly Michael Reeve. Ugh. 
Yeah, tr yeah, yeah, mate, mate, mate. Try again. Yeah. Try again next year. Football? Oh, you're American, aren't you? Soccer, then. I can hear that. Soccer. Soccer. Do you watch soccer? No. I watch football. Bum bum bum. Where is it? Alright, it's 24 and 1. Oh, we could actually nuke this. Hang on. May have to pop off a bit. Hostile UAV, sir. Oh, it's doomed. What sort of. Oh, no. That's like the perfect barbed wire setup. You can't pass it. You can't go inside of the room without getting caught by it. It was bad, man. And they've got a UAV. I don't have ghost. Oh, enemy hellstorm detected. Scared the life out of me, man. Wait for the extra rocket. That might be good. Don't just collect that tag. Never mind, it's all that. Doesn't show blue tags, does it? Mm. Alright, let's bounce. Bump, bump, bump. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Hostile UAV You're a huge NFL fan? I don't really keep up with NFL. NBA, yeah. But not NFL. I don't even really watch it. I only watch the Super Bowl for like commercials. Oh my god. That was close. I can't even get past that man. Our tag deploy beacon has been destroyed. Twenty-five. Yeah, just melee at me. Yeah, you keep doing that. Well, I go and secure this nuclear bread. Or oh, not, because I'm about to get absolutely gunned. Never mind. Right, there's a counter for you, Brad. Sorry, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to process how the fuck that happened. Because I mean, I shouldn't have died there. Because I shot first, and we're at range, and I'm using the superior gun at range, and I hit all of my shot shit. I'm dead, and I was actually shooting him in the head. So I mean, I don't quite understand that. But that's not that's not how you add a mute block command. Better player one. I'm gonna add a command for that. Gonna say fuck off. God's sake, man. How unfortunate. What a way to lose my nuke to a guy. Literally. You see what I mean? Look, you can look at the kill cam. Look at that kill cam and look at the other one. Same guy. One takes five bullets and the other one killed me in three. Jeez Louise, man. The MX9 is not that good. Again. He may have shot first there. But I mean, come on. Attack deploy beacons online. Jesus. 
This gameplay has just been ruined now. It goes from a nuke choke to me going 39 and 6. We're actually losing. Oh, man. 